ACP for Northern Common Peter Guinness said suspects in the misappropriation of 6 million Kinamanam funds will face the law, adding those who are implicated must go before the court to explain themselves and police are only following the process of bringing them to court. We will continue to do that until every one of those people who were implicated will be brought to court and allow the process of the law to take its course. Uh, the law belongs to everybody. You legal man or you big man, law and mistap name karma be me pla all gata. So Usati walking aswa inside long disla heavy has been accused of uh, misappropriating that uh, six million kina must go before the court and explain himself or herself in court. Only the court will determine whether the person is guilty or not guilty. Medeng police have refused bail for the two senior public servants locked up for the alleged misappropriation of the six million kina. This is because of the amount of money involved. In, in, in situations where a suspect is arrested and charged for willful murder, rape, robbery, sedition, arson or any other cases like that, uh, we normally refuse bail for them at the police station and they appear in court and only then they can make application before the national court to grant them bail. In this particular case, uh, it involves a lot of money. Six million kina is a lot of money. And uh, police in Medang has uh, rightly so uh, refused bail because of the amount of money involved. And uh, they allowed those two suspects or two accused to appear before the National Court and the National Court granted them bail. On Monday, police arrested acting Provincial Administrator Joseph Kunda Bonomane and the former Provincial Finance Manager Paul Amera. They were arrested and charged for the misappropriation of six million kina allocated for the Manam Resettlement Program. They were locked up at the Jomba Police Station cell until the National Court in Medang granted them bail last Wednesday. They went out on a 2,000 kina court bail, but with nine bail conditions. They are both ordered to report to the OIC CID every Monday. They must not leave the province without the permission of the senior provincial magistrate or the judge and must not interfere with any state witnesses. Martha Lewis, National MTV News, Medang.